Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you achieve this clean girl dewy natural makeup look that makes me look and feel put together every single day. The clean girl aesthetic has gone around for a while now. We've all heard of her, we've all wanted to be her, we've all seen her. And even though I'm literally the opposite of that girl, like the, the opposite of that girl, whenever I do this makeup look I feel so put together like it's insane so i'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how to achieve this look while also listing the products and i'm also gonna do a get to know me slash life update style video so i hope you guys enjoy okay so first i'm gonna start out with the elf power grip primer i love this because it leaves my makeup on all day without it looking cakey it leaves it looking nice and dewy and glossy then i go in with the elf halo glow this is liquid based so it leaves you looking glossy and glowy all day i love it so much so i just put that like all over my face to blend it out i just use a foundation blush okay so while i'm doing this i want to tell you guys how i sort of got into making youtube videos so basically i've loved youtube ever since i was a little girl i used to watch youtube videos on my eye videos on my eye so i've always loved youtube i used to watch squishy makeovers by like mariah elizabeth and slime videos by like karina garcia but now i'm more into lifestyle youtubers like fernanda ramirez next i go in with the nars creamy concealer this concealer is so good for acne prone girlies covers your pimples while giving that glowy natural look and just to cover the hyperpigmentation on my face i use the elf hd powder so i just blend out with my finger okay guys <clears throat> okay guys so when you're done concealing i go in with this rare beauty um creamy contour stick you could use any creamy contour stick like let me bring you out oh fenty beauty i love the creamy contour sticks more than the powder i feel like they finish more dewy more glowy than like the powder it looks a little more crusty it's going with circular emotions throughout the face so next you're gonna go in with the liquid blush. You could do any liquid blush. I'm obviously gonna use the most popular, which is Rare Beauty, but there's a bunch of dupes for this. You can use the e.l.f. one. I don't know what else there is, but there's definitely more liquid blushes out there that you could use, but it just comes off as more shiny than powdery. So I'm gonna go in with just two dots right here and right here guys a little goes a long way a little goes a long way i went with a blush brush a blush a blush brush and i just go on my top corners right here i'm not gonna like blend all the way up i just don't like the way it looks i'm gonna put a little bit of that on my nose okay so this is how it looks next thing i go in with is this wet and wild i can't even remember highlighting powder i got it for two dollars picks up so much on your finger like look at that put that where the light hits me, so on the top of my cheekbones and on the top of my nose. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is just brush out my brows with this little wand. If you're trying to achieve the clean girl, dewy makeup look, the last thing you wanna do is fill in your brows or color them. You just wanna brush them out and make them natural. You could do gel, but I have really thick brows. I know soap brows was popular for a while, but honestly, I really don't like the look of that. So I just brush up and then I tame it back. I realize I haven't really introduced myself. My name's Fiona Scott, I'm turning 15 in a month. This is my first YouTube video. I finished the brows. The next thing I'm gonna do is curl my lashes. Last thing you wanna do is put eyeliner on. Like, girl, we're trying to look clean here. We're trying to look put together. We're trying to look soft. We're not trying to look bold and out there so i just go in like that and mascara i usually use is sky high or telescopic i usually use sky high more and this is in shade brown i want it to look more natural than just black so i just spread that out like this while i'm doing this i'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about me i was born and raised in new york city and i love it so fuck i think i got it on my eye I think I'm going to raise my kids here. I just love the environment and it's just like I've experienced so much as a teen that other people that I know who live in the suburbs have not experienced at all. I have one brother, two years older than me. He's a pain, but I love him. My literal bottom lashes are longer than my top lashes. play volleyball and right now I do swim. 
I love sports so much. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury um, Lip Cheat. I think it's in the shade Pillow Talk. And then I go in with this like lip plumper from Charlotte Tilbury. For minis, because I literally cannot afford Charlotte Tilbury. I got these as a gift and I love them. Oops, I'm not gonna be overlining a lot. You could overline a little, but I just take the lip gloss and I coat my entire lip with it. For this look, you're trying to go with gloss. Do not choose a matte lip option. Gloss is what is needed. And honestly, if you don't even have fancy lip gloss, just go in with Aquaphor. I'm gonna go in with a setting spray. This one is so good. It lasts 24 hours. This one for me keeps my makeup on for the longest and I really enjoy it. And it also leaves my skin looking shiny, which I like. Just going in an X motion. <laughs> so this is the final look. I love it. It's light, it's airy, it's dewy, it's clean girl. I love it because it's a natural everyday look that I can go to every day. It covers up my acne prone skin and it makes me feel and look put together every single day. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. This is my first ever YouTube video and it's honestly my dream to become a YouTuber and I'm gonna be posting more lifestyle, beauty, skincare content. So if you like that type of stuff, please follow guys.